Well, uh, good Wednesday morning, Gate City. It's good to uh, be able to visit with you again this morning. Uh, during my Bible reading this morning, I went across a verse that I've read many times, and most of us, I think, know pretty well. It's in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, where it tells us, To not become weary in doing good, for in due time we will reap a harvest. And it's really easy to kind of miss the power of that verse especially in one area of our lives where a lot of us struggle, and I know a lot of people right now are struggling, and that's the area of forgiveness. Because forgiveness isn't something that happens instantaneously. And sometimes we can give up on the process of forgiveness because we want feelings to change. And, and one of the things that we have to understand about us as human beings is we cannot force ourselves to have good feelings, nor can we force ourselves to eliminate bad feelings instantaneously. It just doesn't happen that way. But God has a process. And is, if, if you want to forgive someone, the first step in that is deciding to forgive. You've got to choose to say, I'm going to forgive this person for whatever the offense real or, or maybe perceived happens to be. The second thing you need to do is what the Bible tells you to do, and that's to pray for them. Because as you begin to pray for that other individual, your heart begins to change. And over time, you will see and experience more of that change as you pray for them. Another thing the Bible asks us to do is to bless them. And blessing, we're thinking, well, what am I supposed to do? Do special things for them? No, blessing them, I would think, would be best in this circumstance of speaking well of them. Uh, because we know what happens when, when we begin to entertain thoughts of how we've been hurt and what, uh, how angry we might be at that individual about the situation, whatever it is. Those thoughts take us down a negative path, and it only hurts us and delays forgiveness. So blessing a person is really choosing to speak well of them, to put them in a better light, uh, because that strengthens our heart and our attitude as we move towards forgiveness. But probably the hardest thing to do, and the one that requires us to take uh, Galatians 6, 9 very seriously, is to wait. Because, indeed, forgiveness is a process. And so waiting is something we have to be ready to do if we want to forgive. And over time, as we continue to maintain forgiveness in our heart, as we continue to pray for the individual, as we continue to speak well of them, and as we wait, God changes those emotions in us. And all of that angst, all of that anxiety, all of that uh, anger we may have felt at one time, God begins to take away. And so, yes, it's a process, but don't become weary in doing the process. Don't become weary in doing good, for in due time, you will reap a harvest and forgiveness can be realized. God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.